Well, a February interest rate rise is looking less and less likely, with many economists now suggesting the next move will be a rate cut later this year. Inflation is falling faster than expected, and the government hopes to roll out policies to push it down further. Australia's cash rate is now higher than the rate of inflation, with annualised headline inflation coming in at 4.3% in November, a softer print than expected, compared to a cash rate of 4.35%. Money markets are now pricing in a rate cut by August this year, with another cut predicted for January next year and a third almost priced in for June 2025. In yesterday's release by the ABS uh, on the inflation figures, they singled out government policy, whether it was the energy price relief plan, whether it be fee-free TAFE or other measures uh, which have made a difference and which is why uh, it is a contributing factor to that lower than expected figure that we saw in the inflation figures yesterday. To combat inflation, the government is now taking on the big supermarkets. Through a review by a former Labor minister, a mandatory code of conduct for supermarkets is also on the table. It's also good that the government and Craig Emerson doing the review are seriously considering making it compulsory. In the past, it was just tokenistic. It was not a dinkum code of conduct because it depended on the big retailers agreeing to everything. Joel Phillips, Sky News, Canberra.